The Letters of Hades, a poem. The Letters of Hades arrived just in time. When Zeus was with his ladies, he sung his own hymn. He transformed into bull, into swan, into gold. His ego was full and his heart often cold. His brother, though different in essence and fame, his moral was spent and he would not refrain from wreaking his havoc, from spreading his spite. He was into madness, or he was seeking a fight. When Hera awoke from her terrible dreams, wanting to talk to her husband, but as often it seems, Zeus was gone, nowhere near to be found. Hera got angry, her rage was unbound. The fire lit bright, the Olympians woke up, united in might, raising their golden cup. Twelve deities, no emperor, but a new leader was born, with the daughter of Kronos, though she had felt forlorn. As hope unfolded with Tyche's rhyme, soon they had molded their goddesses dime. There was Demeter, Ares, to name a few, Dionysus and Hermes, brooding the brew. There were Poseidon, Apollo, Artemis, coming with strength they were none to miss. There was Hephaestus, the god of forgery and craft, and Aphrodite, the youngest, who had a tendency for graft. And let's not forget the brilliant Athena, the patroness of arts and the strategic arena. Despite moments of friction between the goddess of harvest and the god of the sun, the Olympian team had a myriad of fun. These gods, so great, unique and quirky they were, there were none to follow, they had troubles that might reoccur. Zeus did not see or hear anything at all. He was with his muses, and the muses muted his call. The gods hopped into their chariots without hesitation. No more procrastination, just a goal within the mind's vegetation. All of them cheered in great elation. And Hera proclaimed once and for all, let us change Hades, let all the walls fall. Thank you for listening.